every year Tesla releases a massive Christmas update. So we got quite a few updates this time around for this Christmas gift. We got Apple Podcasts, which essentially just plays Apple Music. Another reason you don't need CarPlay because CarPlay is outdated. And Teslas and Fords, for instance, sync is much better than Apple CarPlay because it's just crap and so is Android Auto. Anyways, we also got some Tesla Arcade updates for Beach Buggy Race, the colorizer, stuff like that. This one's probably the coolest. We got the custom lock sounds. So basically just like when you press the horn and it makes whatever sound you want, you can now do that when you lock your Tesla. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to make sure to do a couple of those. You got speed cameras in your route, similar to how Google Maps works. You got a planner on your mobile app now, so you can instead of just going to the navigation on here, you can actually do it off your mobile app. Alternate routes while driving is as exactly as it sounds, although I thought that was kind of already on there. Anyways, more live view cameras in sentry mode. That's pretty sweet. That means the cameras here on the side of your Tesla, you can now view in sentry mode, whereas previously it was the front, back, sides, as well as that one up there. But now you could view all seven. The automatic blind spot camera is pretty cool. So now when you turn your signal on and there's someone in your way in your blind spot, it flashes red. There's been another upgrade to the light show. So now it's pre-programmed with that one there. And in case you didn't know, you could always do this, but now it tells you that you could do that. You could put a custom light show on here so it could play in your Tesla. Now this one's in relation to the over-the-air recall, which I'm sure most people have heard about, especially the haters when they know absolutely nothing about it. But anyways, if you want to take a read through that, you can. Uh, this is the punishment, essentially, if you don't obey the autopilot prompts and now come up here with a larger screen as opposed to down there, which is a little tiny one. A small handful of people that haven't heard of the over-the-air recall, you could pause it and read this if you need to. That's basically what it is. The autopilot was crashing into too many things because of driver error, because people keep your hands on the steering wheel. And then last but not least, just some minor updates.